Religious zeal can lead people to perform a wide variety of acts. Some of them are beautiful and benevolent, others are vile and unthinkable. But there's a third kind of act that people carry out in the name of their beliefs, and that is absolute, undeniable stupidity. Which brings us to the topic of today's Red Dead Redemption video, the Stranger Mission Jenny's Faith. Before we go and explore the Stranger mission itself, it's worth mentioning that we actually meet Jenny before this mission. At the very beginning of the game in the first mission, Exodus in America, during the train ride to Armadillo. We can overhear snippets of a conversation between her and a priest. Father, do you mean unless an innocent receives communion, they're destined to go to hell? Uh, it hardly seems fair. Uh, what I mean to say, Jenny, is that there is a great deal of difference between an innocent and a savage. I never thought of it that way. Not only do people now have motor cars, Father, but I heard that pretty soon we will be able to fly. No, only angels can fly, Jenny. No, no, apparently people can fly. Didn't you hear? Out in Kansas, a man even got a car to fly. <laughs> <laughs> I hardly think so, Jenny. What you must remember, my dear, is that we have been brought here to spread the word. And the word and civilization, they are the same thing. They are the gifts. It is the opportunity we have, the chance to live among people who are decent and who do not kill each other, and who let you worship in peace. Uh, it, it's so confusing, Father. Sometimes I find it impossible to make the distinction between a loving act and a hateful one. I mean, they often seem to be the same thing. Yes, Jenny, it, it is confusing. But you only have to ask me if you need help. Indeed. From the snippets of the conversation, we can gather that Jenny and this priest have come down to New Austin as missionaries of sorts, here in this uncivilized land to help spread the word of the Lord and with it, civilization as far as they're concerned. Anyway, now that we've been introduced to Jenny through the opening of the game, the mission Jenny's Faith becomes available after completing the Bonnie McFarlane mission This Is Armadillo USA. Jenny can be found quite a distance west of Armadillo, at a spot not too far from Ridgewood Farm. We'll find her not in the best of conditions out here in the desert. Hello! Hello there! Howdy, miss. Uh, what are you doing out here? Um, I'm thinking. Have I seen you before? Yes, I think so. On the train from Blackwater, perhaps. Yeah. Yeah, you were talking with the preacher. Yes, sir, I was. I don't know if it's so safe out here, miss. Oh, Jenny. You can call me Jenny. Uh, uh, all right. Uh, I'm safe because I, I have faith. So uh, faith can move mountains. That's the whole point. You're trying to move a mountain? Oh, no. I, I can't do anything. But with faith? can achieve great things. I know that. I know it. You want me to take you back into town, ma'am? You seem kind of unwell. Oh, I, I get such clarity out here. I see things purely. The world is so beautiful. And full of things that'll kill you. <laughs> including illness. Nothing's gonna kill me, sir. Well? Take care, then. <coughs> she seems unwell, but we can go and get medicine and bring it to her, or if we already have it on us, we can just give it to her. <coughs> Miss Jenny. <coughs> Miss Jenny. <coughs> Don't look like the Almighty's much inclined to help you out here. <coughs> I was kind of worried about you, so I brought you some medicine. You Lord, I knew you'd save me. <coughs> Excuse me? You see, it was only through his will that you were ordered to save me. Tell me, <coughs> were there angels in your vision? Jenny, uh, can I take you back into town? Lord, praise you, Savior. I knew you'd save me. <coughs> 
Will you come with me? Oh, I'm fine here, mister. I, I'm in heaven. <coughs> heaven. <coughs> and that's the end of the stranger mission Jenny's faith. She believed her faith would sustain her even out in the inhospitable desert, and yet still she managed to fall unwell. And when we went to get medicine for her and brought it back to her, she believed our actions to be exercising the will of the Lord. We then leave Jenny out here in the desert where she wishes to remain. Presumably that medicine won't do her too much good and she will likely die. Well fucking done John, you're a true hero of the West. I mean you can go a step further and kill her yourself if you so wish to. I find it impossible to make the distinction between a loving act and a hateful one. Good luck figuring this one out. Anyway, now onto the questions that this stranger mission raise. It's obvious when we first see Jenny on the train that the preacher she came down to Armadillo with was something of a mentor figure to her. He even states that if Jenny needed help figuring anything out, she could go to him for guidance. And yet I find it odd that even then she embarks on a suicide errand to prove her faith. Is she out here to prove her faith to herself, or is she proving it to somebody else? It's very obvious that she's a naive young woman, so is it it possible that somebody could have put her up to this? It's more than likely not that deep, but it is fun to speculate. Furthermore, we never see this priest again, so where did he go? I find it interesting that he's nowhere to be found when Jenny's just out all alone. Maybe he has his own business, but as the mentor figure he comes across as, surely he wouldn't be that far away. And yet, this man is nowhere to be found, so maybe his intentions aren't as pure as they may seem. Like I said, it's probably not that deep, but if I've learned anything about how Rockstar makes these stories in their games, it's that they love casting elements of doubt and ambiguity and possibility. They love the speculation. So maybe somebody did manipulate Jenny to do this to herself, and that intent could have been pure or nefarious. And as Jenny states herself, she would have struggled to tell the difference but we'll never know. Interestingly, if you hogtie her and take her to Las Hermanas in Mexico and release her there, she will begin to pray at the altar. At least according to Googling, I didn't find this for myself because I blew a hole in her head instead. Though, if you release her in other locations apparently, such as McFarlane's Ranch, Ridgewood Farm or Beecher's Hope, she will partake in different activities relevant to that location, so this could just be a glitch. Apparently when you do hogtie her, she says, leave me be, I've been waiting for this my whole life. The question I'm asking is, waiting for what exactly? Death? I suppose in canon we just leave her in the desert and she almost certainly dies. I guess it's a tragic story of devotion, arguably gone a touch too far. But that concludes this video on Jenny's faith in Red Dead Redemption. So, thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to go ahead, leave a like, subscribe, share the channel with your friends and all that wonderful stuff, that would be super fantastic. And with any luck, I'll be seeing you all very soon with another video at some point. But until next time, take care and goodbye.